Hi and welcome. It's time for another unboxing and sound test here at W2Best on YouTube. And uh, this time it's the Blue Bluebird microphone. Uh, I got a used one, so it's not perfect, not new, but it should be good enough for me. And uh, it will replace the Blue Yeti Blackout that I ordered, but I thought it was a little bit too big. And also didn't have an XLR output, so I couldn't use it with anything else than for just a USB microphone. <coughs> so, as this one is used, I'll just hop straight into the box, show you how it looks. Here, the microphone is presented in a wooden case. We have a decent shock mount and we have a pop filter. So we take the pop filter out. Take the shock mount out and take the wooden case out. And when you slide this off, you reveal the microphone. So taking this out. This feels high quality, I can tell you. This is really good. So, uh, I'm not going to waste any further time with this. Uh, it feels really high quality, but it's the sound that we care about. So I have the Focusrite Scarlett Solo right here. Uh, we're going to plug uh, this one in, try the sound from it. Uh, we're going to plug a cheap, uh, just a cheap dynamic cardioid uh, microphone, also with the XLR. And we're going to compare it to the onboard of the Sony NX and the onboard microphone on a MacBook Pro. Uh, and hopefully we can see some difference in between them. So what you heard up until that point was the onboard mic on my Sony NX 6. And now I have switched over to a very cheap dynamic microphone uh, that is plugged into the Focusrite uh, which one is it? Focus right eye track solo. And I will read a short piece of text to showcase how this microphone sounds. In a departure from its normally application specific designs, Blue engineered the Bluebird to be as versatile as possible. Designed for applications ranging from vocals and electric and acoustic guitars to close miking of drums, drum overheads, percussion, piano, horns and strings, virtually any application is enhanced by the Bluebird's crystal clear sound. So this was a cheap condenser, uh, sorry, dynamic microphone, just regular settings in Audacity, medium gain on the Focusrite iTrack Solo. Okay, I have now switched over to the condenser microphone, Blue Bluebird and I'm holding it, so I'm not using a stand, just to make it uh, an even comparison to that dynamic microphone I was using before. I'm holding it an equal distance to what I used uh, the last mic on, and with the same gain setting. And I'm gonna read the same text so you can hear the difference. In a departure from its normally application-specific designs, Blue engineered the Bluebird to be as versatile as possible. Designed for applications ranging from vocals and electric and acoustic guitars to close miking of drums, drums overheads, percussion, piano, horns and strings, virtually any application is enhanced by the Bluebird's crystal clear sound. So that was the Blue Bluebird and it's powered with phantom power from the Focusrite uh, USB interface. Now we're gonna switch over to the onboard mic of the MacBook Pro. And for the third part of this comparison, I am now using the onboard mic of my MacBook Pro. I'm still using the same settings in Audacity and I will do no editing to the sound afterwards. So I'm gonna read the same text as before. In a departure from its normally application-specific designs, Blue engineered the Bluebird to be as versatile as possible. 
designed for applications ranging from vocals and electric and acoustic guitars to close miking of drums, drum overheads, percussion, piano, horns and strings. Virtually any application is enhanced by the Bluebird's crystal clear sound. So that was the last one of the tests and uh, just let me know what you thought in the comments below and let's have some discussions uh, around the impressions there. Thanks a lot. Bye.